letting go of how things should be and just be. That's what I want to talk to you about today. And I am coming from a place as someone who used to be a top achiever and a toxic hustler. I used to be really results driven and goals oriented in everything that I do. I am very used to targeting for results that I want, whether it's getting a scholarship when I was in high school or graduating from university. And when I became an entrepreneur, it has always been to make more money, to achieve more followers, build a name for myself. Like I have always been someone who is very results driven. Like I always have goals. And I think those were the reasons why I am able to get to where I am. And I was able to achieve a lot of things in my life. But I have also come to learn that when it comes to life and when it comes to your creative pursuit, things are a little bit more different. Like if you were to just focus on the goals, you might be missing out in a lot of other things. And I think I was able to kind of switch out of that mindset because I have change my definition of success in life. I used to always think that success in life means having a lot of money, to be on Forbes 30 under 30, to be retiring my parents so that they don't need to work again for the rest of their lives. Like those have always been my definition of success in life. And they still kind of are. But I have learned to also accept that life is so much more than that. Like life is truly about living. It is about the journey. Because to be real with you, we don't know when we're dying. We really could be dying tomorrow morning when we walk out of our house and I don't know, get run over by a car, right? Like we really don't know when we are living this earth and what if we are so focused on the goals that we do not enjoy our current life and we miss out on living i've always been a very yolo person i've always strived to live a life where even if i were to die tomorrow i don't regret and i think i would continue to live my life the way it is but i think when it comes to my creative pursuit like this podcast that i'm creating When it comes to just being a content creator in general and to grow my business, like to build a a separate online business to monetize this whole content creator journey, like when it comes to all of this, I still find myself to be quite trapped in that goals-driven, results-driven. Like I, there was still a set of rules that I'm so used to following that it took me a while to unlearn and to change my patterns and the thing that I feel like has changed things for me is when I started to focus on the process and not the results sure there are certain results and goals that I've set for myself but I have come to learn that when it comes to building a business And when it comes to growing a social media profile or just being a content creator to create content that can actually create an impact, like when it comes to these things, it's very hard to set a deadline. Sure, having a smart goal is going to help you to push yourself to achieve your goals sooner. But what is the point of pushing yourself so hard of stressing yourself out, of not living a life because you are so focused on achieving these goals. Like, isn't life meant to be lived? So I'm definitely learning to focus on the process instead of the results. And that is how I've been approaching my time when it comes to creating content for this podcast and also when it comes to building things for my online business 
I stopped letting the pressure of making money sooner take over me. And I started to take control of what I want to do in my free time instead. I'm just going to give you an example over here. So actually over the weekend, I just hosted my fiance's family at my hometown. Like we just started with the entire wedding planning process and things were pretty hectic. Like, I mean, just the fact that I was hosting and dealing with so many people and having to be concerned of their feelings and their emotions and making sure that they're comfortable, stuff like that. Like it's a lot. And Full disclosure, I am planning to create a wedding diaries, like a wedding series here in a podcast because I think it would be very fun to share with you about it. So I've got to save the story for another day. But I came back from that weekend, okay? And it's a Tuesday night right now. It's actually 11.30 at night. And I want to tell you, like this entire podcast creation process after they have left. So I was emotionally drained after they left on Monday, which was yesterday. And I originally planned to like just draft my notes and record my podcast yesterday because I've always set a deadline for me to post my podcast on Thursday mornings. And recording on Monday night is already a very short timeline that I'm working with, considering that I have to edit the video myself and to upload it and stuff like that. So... I I wanted to do that, right? I wanted to record on Monday night, but I was just so tired and so drained from everything. Instead of stressing out of how little time I have left to produce a new episode for you, I decided to allow myself to take my time to truly soak in everything that happened over the weekend and to allow myself to rest first. To do things that are not necessarily deemed as productive because it's not contributing to my financial or my career growth. Like I was literally painting and reading. I really allowed myself to just leave, right? I actually took my time to cook my meals, to nourish myself with nutritious food instead of planning for a content and focusing on recording it because I knew that that was what I needed. And I know that when I take my time to take care of myself, everything else is going to work out eventually. Like I just did not need to rush. I realized that when you make sure that your needs are taken, right? When you give yourself enough sleep, when you feed yourself nutritious food after a couple of days of just overeating unhealthy stuff, Or when you allow yourself to just take your time to breathe, to soak in all the things that have been going through in your life, when you have dealt with all the emotions that you have to deal with, after you have done all of this, you would come out so much more energized and in a way that would allow you to work in a more efficient way. Like you would be inspired again And you would be able to show up for yourself in the best way possible. One thing that I had to also learn is sometimes it's okay to just be okay. Like you don't have to excel or to do perfectly well in everything in your life. And I'm just giving you an example over here. I do have my set of expectations when it comes to how my podcast looks like and sound like. Of course, audio is the most important things when it comes to podcasts. And when it comes to my videos, I usually like to have the lightings well done. I like to shoot it in 4K so that when I repurpose to Instagram or TikTok, it would still look somewhat HD. Um, But on days when I am so tired like that, I had to learn to just focus on the main intention of this entire podcast. And it is this message that I'm trying to tell you. And it is the voice that I have when it comes to sharing this message. And the video, the quality of the video, it's more of a secondary thing. It's more of a byproduct of this main intention that I have. So I allowed myself to record this episode just using my webcam and sitting in front of my computer 
instead of stressing out of having the perfect setup because I'm just too lazy for it. I, and I think it's okay to just be okay. And another example is I did cook my dinner for today and I made spaghetti bolognese, right? And today I did not have any vegetable stock left in my fridge. And because I was so tired, my brain kind of farted when I was cooking and poured away my pasta water that I was supposed to keep to cook my pasta sauce, right? So I had to improvise. And the outcome of the meal, it's not as delicious as the pasta that I usually made. But I did make dinner. And today, for me, the taste of my meals doesn't matter as much as the fact that I need a meal to feed myself, to give myself enough nutrition to move on in life. So it is okay to be okay. And I guess that's what I'm trying to tell you today. It's that when we let go of how things should be and just be, we get to truly experience life as we go. I know you might feel that you are taking a step back when you are resting or when you are doing things that are unrelated to your goal chasing journey like when you allow yourself to rest or to do other things like cooking or painting or reading you might feel that you are unfocused and you are slowing down your process you will be surprised to find that when you let yourself just flow when you allow yourself to just rest when you need and to address your inner needs you will be able to flow so much more swiftly and smoothly after that. And based on my experience, you will still achieve equal or if not even better results because you allow yourself to rest and to experience all these other things that are somewhat unrelated to your journey. So let this be a reminder to not be so hung up on how things should be and just be. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in my next one.